Hi, I'm Francie White. I'm a Feldenkrais practitioner and a somatic experiencing practitioner here in Eugene, Oregon. And what I have for you today is pelvic circles number four. And we'll just see how many of these variations I can end up coming up with. This one happens to be my very, very favorite one. So let's begin, as always, by just letting ourselves sink into the floor. And just notice yourself and how you're lying down. And this may be different at the end of the lesson. And when you're ready, bring your feet up to standing. And I think it's always a good idea when you start doing pelvic circles to always do the cardinal directions of the pelvis first. So do the pelvic tilt where you're taking the tailbone towards and away from the floor. And again, just noticing how this movement is traveling up your spine into your head. Noticing any places that may be stuck. Maybe you can start letting some of that go. And then when you're ready, you can press on either foot and alternate lifting your hip left and right. And I'm gonna remind you again to always stay underneath any level of pain or discomfort, even if it means you're not moving. The nervous system cannot tell the difference. So once you've done the cardinal directions, begin doing the pelvic circles and just get an idea of what this feels like to do them. And you're, the idea is for them to be round and as round and smooth as you can do them now. So you may have some little missing pieces in your movement vocabulary that's preventing you from being able to do this perfectly round and perfectly smooth. And that's fine because that's what we're trying to fill in. Um, change directions. So we're just reminding ourselves what this feels like. And now this is my favorite one. Take one heel, if you can, and put it on your knee. And if you can't do this yet, then move on to the next, um, the next video, and I promise you at some point you will be able to do this again. So with one ankle on your uh, opposite knee, begin to do these pelvic circles. And just start to notice how this knee being up like this is constraining the movement on the right side. So the left side is having to work a little bit harder. And the thing I love about this one is that I actually am finding a place where I have a tiny amount of pain and a little bit of a catch. And so when I find that place right here, what I do is I just go back and forth through it a few times really slowly and really smoothly and just see if I can work that catch out. And then I go on, I change directions. And strangely enough, it really only catches and has a little bit of pain in one direction, the other direction it doesn't. So here we go. Noticing also again how the movement from the pelvis should be going all the way up into your head if possible. Try releasing your neck. You may be holding a lot in your chest. And it may just be that you don't have permission to move your head. So I give you permission to move your head. And then when you get tired, let that go and rest for a moment. And then we're gonna change sides. So bring your opposite ankle up onto your opposite knee and begin pelvic circles. And now the left side is constrained and it's, it's pulling, it's also pulling down on the pelvis. So in order to keep this smooth, the left side has to compensate for it. So it's making all these new wonderful connections that's gonna help your pelvis be able to move even better after we take the constraint away. So again, staying underneath any level of pain or discomfort. And if you find little glitches, you find little places that hurt, go smaller, go slower. And just see if you can work through them. Just take it back through just a few times. 
back and forth in this little, these little small arcs, and then continue. And just see if you can work that out. Changing direction whenever you feel like it. Noticing the connections as you go up through your head. And then when you're done, let that go. Just for a moment. Oh, and go back and do your original pelvic circles. So once you do the pelvic circles again, I just guarantee you it's gonna be easier. It's gonna feel a lot smoother and a lot easier, a lot more round than it was before because you have built new new connections between your, your sensory motor system and your brain. So there you have it for pelvic circles number four. Um, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, check out my website, integratedselfhygiene.com. Thanks again, and uh, we'll see you in the, in the next video. Have a great day.